Na barabara kabisa ni furaha iliyoje basi kukutana nawe sana wakati kama huu papa hapa kwenye taarifa zetu za KTN leo. Kwa leo tupokea basi kumbuka unatupata kupitia www.ktnkenya.tv. E, Nikitumai kwamba hali zenu ni njema sana wakati kama huu mimi ni Ahmed Darwesha. Na taarifa zetu ambapo alikuwa waziri wa kawi David Chechil na alikuwa mwenyekiti wa baraza la kitaifa la mitihani NEC humu nchini Paul Wasanga mapema hii leo umefikishwa mbele tume ya kabiliana na ufisadi EACC kuhusiana tuhuma zinazowakabili kuhusiana sakata inayozingira ile kuwa tume ya mpito mipaka na uchaguzi kwenye masala ya ufisadi ijulikanayo kama chicken gate wakizungumza na wanahabari wawili hao walipuuza madai ya kuhusika kwao katika sakata hiyo aidha chelichira alitoa wito kwa yote mwenye taarifa kuhusiana sakata hiyo kuiwasilisha mbele tume hiyo ili kusaidia katika uchunguzi Amend the clarification and uh, the commission have been uh, very good. They asked me all the questions to clarify those allegations that were made, and I have managed to do the clarification uh, as, 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 as long as there were all the questions that were asked, I managed to answer them. Other printers were pre-qualified. We have nine other printers which were pre-qualified, but the awarding of the tenders in for Smith House has been above board. Where they have been uh, it's only that they in, in, in the times when they are printed examinations they have won the tender and not they were, not that they were given free they have won the tender who may have evidence uh, as regarding the allegations that we've seen to basically come forward with those evidences so that we can close this issue and talk more about the energy and the economic issues which will change this country rather than really covering our media with issues which do not add value but to the extent that we must fight corruption, it is important that we encourage anybody with evidence to really bring forward so that on any case, including this one, so that the case can be conclusively uh, finished and we can move on to address issues affecting our economy from unemployment, uh, all those issues of insecurity, which is a byproduct of uh, unemployment, the cost of doing business, and then things like that. Na mkwageneko muna harakatu haki za kibinada mokia umtata ame mkashi fuziru masiliano Fred Matiangi pamoja na mamlaka ya masiliano nchini kwa kile alichokitaja kama ukiukaji wa haki za kikatiba kwa kuonyima wa Kenya kupata habari punde e, bila malipo Omtata alishtaki mamlaka ya masiliano katika mahakama ya juu kwa kuvizima vituo vinne vya habari juma lupita kesi hiyo imesikilizwa hii leo na jaji Isaac Lenaola Lofti Matambo anamaelezo zaidi Mzozo ulioko kati ya runinga za KTN, NTV, QTV na Citizen na mamlaka ya mawasiliano nchini CA sasa umewavutia wanaharakati wa haki za kibinadamu. Leo asubuhi mwanaharakati Okia Omtata amerejea mahakamani mbele ya jaji Isaac Lenaola ili kesi dhidi ya mamlaka ya mawasiliano nchini isikilizwe. So the act of switching off the analog technically meant that it was a violation of that court order whereby they were supposed not to go and carry their content on other carriers who they contested. Omtata anamkashifu mkurugenzi mkuu wa mamlaka ya CA Francis Wangusi kwa kutozingatia haki za kikatiba za Wakenya kuhusu kupokea habari bila malipo. Hata hivyo wakili wa mamlaka wa Mbua Kilonzo alidai kesi sawia na hiyo tayari ili kuemewasilishwa na wamiliki wa kampuni tatu za habari. It is inconceivable that any party would start this litigation again in the high court. And that's why I'm seeking for declarations that the Minister for the Cabinet Secretary for Information, Mr. Matiani, and uh, the, the entire board of the Communications Authority of Kenya should be declared unsuitable for public office. So having violated, grossly violated the constitution of Kenya. Judge Lenaola aliagiza kwamba kesi hiyo isikilizwe muna mojuma tano tarahi 25 baada ya omutata kuwa pasha habari wa miliki wa KTN, NTV, Citizen na QTV kuhusu wepo wa kesi hiyo. Lofti Matambo, Mbiu ya KTN. Na mahakama juu imeherisha siku ya kutua wa muzi wake kusiana kesi iliyoshilisha ama iliyowasilishwa kupinga baadhi ya vipengee vilivyoko katika sheria ya usalama mwaka 2014 
kupitia jaji Isaac Lenaola uamuzi huo ulikuwa utolewe hii leo lakini sasa unatazamiwa kutolewa siku Jumatatu ijayo akisema kwamba hii ni kutokana sababu isoweza kuepukika muungano wa code ndio ulikuwa umewasilisha kesi ya kupinga mswada huo hasa baadhi ya vipengee ambavyo wanadai vinakiuka katiba ya humu nchini na kutokana na haki hii mahakama juu ilisimamisha kutekelezwa kwa vipengee nane katika mswada huo hadi pale leo utakapotoa uamuzi wao so we just need the weekend to fine tune it and we'll be ready on monday the 23rd kampeni za kuwapiga debi wagombezi wa bunge huko Kajiado ya Kati zimeingia kileleni huku wapiga kura wakijitayarisha kwa uchaguzi mdogo tulikofanyika tarehe 16 mwezi machi naibu wa rais William Ruto alizua eneo bunge hilo kumpigia debi mgombezi kupitia chama cha Japa Party Tutui wakati huo kinara wa chama cha ODM Raila Odinga naye pia alizuru maeneo tofauti ya Kajiado kumpigia debi mgombezi kupitia tiketi ya chama cha ODM Memusi Kanchori Viongozi hao walitoa ahadi walizozitimiza endapo wagombezi wao watawachagua kuwakilisha kiti hicho kilichowachwa wazi baada ya liko mbunge eneo hilo Joseph Kaiseri kuchaguliwa kwa waziri wa usalama. Uchaguzi huo ni mtihani wa kwanza kwa chama kipe cha JAP ambacho kinakisiwa kuwa huenda kitatumiwa na wanajubilii kwenye uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka wa 2017. William Ruto aliahidi wenyeji kwamba chama cha JAP kimebuniwa ili kuwaleta wa Kenya pamoja kwa sababu mjumbe wenu amekuwa waziri tunataka mtupatie jameni tuendeshe serikali ya jubilee na mpaka kabisa mtazamaji ni hayo tu tuliweza kuandalia kwa hivi sasa ambao ni kwa mukhtasar tu lakini kwa mengi zaidi ni hapo mwendo wa saa moja kwenye taarifa zetu za KTN leo mtandao na kumbushe tunaweza kutupata basi kupitia www.ktnkenya.tv mimi ni Ahmed Darwesh hadi hapo mwendo wa saa moja basi nikutakia alasiri njema kwaheri